It's the last weekend of March, which for Minnesota is usually a couple months out from the first plantings. But I'm going to plant out some lettuce because I've got plenty of seed. And these are fairly cold hardy, so we'll see if they can survive. I've started some lettuce greens indoors that I want to get out into the garden as sort of a test. If we can get some free greens this time of year, that would just be amazing. And if they die back, then I'll know that it's not quite ready and that I should start another batch indoors. By starting them indoors, we get a huge head start. Today is a beautiful sunny day. So I'm just going to pull these apart into clusters. You don't have to go all the way down to one plant. If you do that way, you want to submerge all the roots in water because the roots can be very delicate. And by pulling them apart, you risk damaging them. So if you're going to do them as individual plants like this, you might want to submerge them. But we'll just bury these right up to their seed leaves. Some plants like onions, you can do this, pull them apart, and they're so tough you don't have to worry about them much at all. But lettuce can be a little more delicate. But we'll just dig a little hole, nestle those seeds in, and then backfill around. That way the seeds tap down nice and deep, and we'll just plant out this whole container with lettuce. I'm going to just water these in. So I'm going to be extra gentle. So I've got this little tiny little plastic guy. And they're going to look pretty weak at first. They might fall over. They might look pretty stressed. But they'll soon get established. And they'll start to bounce back. But so far they look pretty good. I don't think any of them were damaged too much. And they're withstanding the watering pretty well. But this is a very small little container, so I'm being extra gentle. I want to keep in mind too, if these have been indoors, they might get sunburned. So you might actually want a shade cloth. Or you could just cover them with some of those leaves. And it'll actually give them a little bit of shade. But I'm going to give these guys a good drink. And usually that's about it. Keep an eye on the weather. And if you've got rain in the forecast, you might want to cover them again. But if they've been watered a few times, they should toughen up. And they should be able to withstand some pretty decent rain and wind. After about a half an hour, they're kind of looking a little weak because of the transplant and that full sun. So you can take a couple dry leaves. These are really lightweight. They're really not going to hurt the plants. And we can just give them just a little bit of shade with these leaves, just like that. That way they can acclimate a little better. And we'll do this one over here too. They're just really light, really simple. And it'll just kind of help protect them just a little bit. Our little greenhouse is probably getting pretty warm. Let's take a look in there. But the plants look actually a little better even than the other ones. So maybe that moisture is important. They do dry out really fast in the wind and the sun. But hopefully they'll be a little more protected now. Yesterday I planted out some lettuces and overnight they became acclimated, and although it was pretty cold, I don't think we got any frost. So the leaves look really good. I've got a little bit of morning dew on them right now. 
really beautiful. I did insulate these, not so much for the cold, but more for the sun. I think they're probably ready to uncover. And I'm just using a few dried leaves because they're very lightweight. They shouldn't really damage the plants. And they just kind of give them a little bit of protection. They actually probably did insulate them from the cold temps last night. But now I'm just going to remove these leaves. It's beautiful, isn't it? This is the first pot that I have planted out. But I've got a couple pots planted out. This one was not insulated, and it actually looks fine. Some of these lettuces were romaine, so I'm really excited to get some fresh salad greens out in the garden. Had a little bit of damage on some of these leaves, but I'm hoping that these new leaves will start shooting up in this full sun, because these were just growing indoors for the past couple months. I've just really been anxious to start the garden. So I had a bunch of vegetables started, including a whole bunch of lettuce greens. They look pretty decent. So this is their first full day outside, so we'll keep an eye on them. If they start to wilt in the sun, I'll probably come back in and cover them up with some of these leaves. I think that really helped them out. I've also got some in this little greenhouse experiment. We can hop over here and check on those. There's a little hole that I should be able to peek the camera through. Wow, those look really good. I do want to keep an eye on these so they don't overheat. That's my concern on these. But so far they look really good. This is just a recycled bag with a little bit of transparency to it. It's not 100% see-through, but it lets plenty of light in. So I think they'll be okay in there. I think these are actually a really good sign that I can plant out some more vegetables. So I'm thinking dill, uh, maybe some parsley, maybe some radishes, a bunch of cold hardy vegetables like spinach. So I'm really excited to start the garden. These look fantastic. I'm so excited to have greens planted out. So I hope you're out in the garden giving this a grow. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.